first step I am taking as always is prepping the eye area for eyeshadow application. I am using the Essence Eyeshadow Base all over the eyelid and up to the brow bone. I have pigmentation across my lids and some veins on show so this base is going to neutralise the redness and provide some coverage so that I have a nice even canvas to start out on. I find the base a bit too tacky to start applying eyeshadows on top of so I like to set it in place with a powder before I begin that way I don't have to worry about my eyeshadows creasing. If you've been a viewer of my channel for a little while you will know that sometimes I like to lightly sketch in the shape of my winged eyeliner first with a felt tip pen. I like to do this for a few reasons but today I'm doing it so that I have a guide for my shadows. You can do this with tape or a piece of card but I'm using the end of the wing and I'm going to blend my eyeshadows inwards from that point. The first shadow I'm using is not actually an eyeshadow at all. It's a bronzer but I really like the tone of it and it works very nicely as a transition shade. You're not going to see this very strongly in the finished look. It's just there to help me blend out the other eyeshadows more easily and it'll give a little bit of warmth to the look. I'm beginning on the outer corner of the eye again using the middle of the flick as a guide but this time I'm blending a dark brown into the crease. With the darker colours fill them up little by little and this way it'll make the blending process so much easier for you. I am buffing the colour back and forth in the crease but I am not being too precise with it. The last shade I'm taking to give me some definition is a black eyeshadow and don't worry if the shadow gets on the lid, that's okay. I'm not going to be applying any shadow there, um, I kind of like the look of a strong colour in the crease and the fading effect that we have up towards the brow and then down onto the lid. I'm taking a clean blending brush now and just buffing around the edges of the eyeshadows to make sure there are no harsh lines. Now that I've finished applying and blending my shadows in the crease, I'm going to fill in that cat eye outline I made earlier. If you are struggling with this step, I have a full video dedicated to winged liner and I'll link that below for you to check out after this tutorial if you are interested. I'm going to apply some lashes now from Eye Candy and I'm always asked where I get them. I get them in TK Maxx and they're only $3.99. Once I have the lashes on, I'm going to then apply the shadows along my lower lash line in the same order that I applied them to the crease. So I'm starting out with that bronzer and smoking it halfway along the lower lash line, followed by the darker brown and then lastly the black. Finally for the eyes then, I'm applying some mascara and I'm just pressing the wand against my own lashes to push them into the false ones so that they blend nicely together. That way the false lashes won't really have any product on them and they'll last that little bit longer. Moving on to the face then, I started out with my Catrice primer and then I applied my Rimmel Match Perfection foundation. For under the eye area I used my NYX HD concealer and then to set everything in place I used a very light dusting of the MUA press powder in the shade 4. I always contour my face even if I'm only doing it very subtly. Foundation can leave the face looking very flat so I like to add some dimension back in there. And then for a very subtle hint of colour on the cheeks I like to use this number 7 blush. I'm dusting it just off the apples of the cheeks and then blending it back into that contour shade. I like to use the highlight shade in my 17 contour kit to brighten the under eye area. I still have some fake tan on now but when I'm pale I can get away with using this to set my foundation and it works really nicely. I also like to use this to add some definition to my cheeks. So I like to sweep it just underneath where I applied my contour and that gives me a nice crisp clean edge. For a highlighter I love the MUA one. It's one of my favourites, very pigmented and only costs around €3, Euro. complete bargain. For the lips if I'm wearing a nude shade. Sometimes I like to spice it up a little and do a bit more of an ombre lip because I tend to get a little bit bored of just plain nude colour on its own. 
So I'm starting out with this kind of brown toned pink liner and lining my lips. Then I'm going to fill them in ever so slightly, making sure I leave a space in the middle of my lips. Then I go in with a pinky nude lipstick on top, one that's lighter than the lip liner. I smush my lips together, reapply the liner around the edges of the lipstick just to make sure they blend together and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up, commenting and subscribing and I'll see you all in my next video.